10 of the world's weirdest fruits and vegetables. Looking for some new things to eat? Tired of the same old vegetable rack at your grocery store? Or pineapples passe? If this describes your state of mind, then prepare to get exotic with these strange fruits and weird vegetables from around the globe. From yardlongs, which grow so fast that you can almost watch them get bigger, to durian, which smells like dirty gym socks but tastes like creamy almond custard, these are the wildest, most unusual fruits and veggies in the natural world. Break out your bucket list and make some travel plans. You can't call yourself a true culinary adventurer until you've tried every exotic fruit on this video. If something that looks like a meteorite explosion, a Fibonacci sequence are called, ugly fruit, and, gak, is your cup of tea, you weird fruit, then have a time to watch this video and discover the most unusual vegetables and fruit around the world. Fruit of the Hala aka Pahala tree The Hala fruit is a large edible fruit made up of numerous segments called keys or cones and is found in Southeast Asia, Eastern Australia, Pacific Islands and Hawaii. Also called the Tahitian screw pine or thatch screw pine, the hala fruit tree is one of the 750 or so trees that belong to the pandanus species. It looks a bit scary and reminds you of an exploding planet. But don't let appearances scare you off, because chances are, you might have already tried a variant of the hala fruit at one point in your life, especially if you are a fan of Southeast Asian food. Pandan chiffon cake, pandan curry, pandan custard, do any of these ring a bell? Pandan, usually in the form of an essence or paste is made from the leaves of a pandanus tree belonging to the same family as the hala fruit. If you've ever wondered why some of those desserts were a fluo green, it was probably because of pandan. The hala fruit itself has a delicate, sweet taste, similar to the paste made from the leaves. It is eaten fresh, boiled or ground into a paste, or squeezed into juice. Horned melon Horned melon produce spiky points throughout its bright yellow and orange, mottled skin. The interior contains a rich, jelly-like, lime-green flesh studded with white seeds reminiscent of cucumber seeds. The melon has a sweet and tart, banana-lime taste. A flavor that is enhanced when chilled. The brighter the orange skin, the sweeter the flesh of the fruit. The horn melon is the size of a large pear and generally weighs less than one pound. Both the seeds and the flesh are edible. The horn melon is the fruit produced from the Cucumis meduliferus traveling vine plant. It is a member of the Cucurbitaceae family, along with most all melons as well as cucumbers and squashes. The horn melon is one of few melons that actually resembles a cucumber more than a melon, as its seeds are found throughout its flesh, not just within a seed cavity. The horn melon has several other vernacular names, including kawano, African horned melon, African horned cucumber, hedged gourd, jelly melon, blowfish fruit, shuri and milano. Romanesco broccoli looking like an elaborate work of art or alien from space, Romanesco is an uncommon vegetable frequently available only at local farmers markets or to grow from seed. Also called Romanesco broccoli or Roman cauliflower even though it is neither one, this unusual cultivar of Brassica oleracea dates back to the 16th century. It is sometimes mistakenly called broccoflower, but that name really refers to green-colored cauliflower. This Italian heirloom that was once grown exclusively around Rome produces striking light green heads composed of numerous cone-shaped florets, each one growing in a logarithmic spiral. Your first glimpse of this strange vegetable will have you wondering, what is Romanesco? The neon green color is unearthly and the entire head is spiked unevenly. Romanesco grows much like cauliflower, with thick stalks and wide, rough leaves. The central head gets large and the entire plant can span 2 feet, 61 centimeters, in diameter. Leave a large space for growing Romanesco broccoli, as it is not only wide but needs plenty of nutrients to grow the huge heads. The plant is hardy in USDA growing zones 3 to 10 and can grow well into fall in temperate areas. Aki Aki, Blaia Sapita, is the national fruit of Jamaica as well as a component of the dish, Aki and Codfish. Although the ackee is not indigenous to Jamaica, it has remarkable historic associations. Originally, it was imported to the island from West Africa, probably on a slave ship. Now it grows here luxuriantly, producing large quantities of edible fruit each year. The ackee tree grows up to 15.24 meters 50 feet under favorable conditions. It bears large red and yellow fruit 7.510 centimeters 3 to 4 in long. When ripe these fruits burst into sections revealing shiny black round seeds on top of a yellow arrow which is partially edible. There are two main types of ackee identified by the color of the arrow. That with a soft yellow arrow is known as, butter, and, 
cheese, is hard and cream-colored. Paki contains a poison which is dissipated when it is properly harvested and cooked. The fruit should not be gathered until the pods open naturally. In addition, the arrow must be properly cleaned of red fiber and the cooking water discarded. Akabi Purple Akabi is a cylindrical to oblong fruit, averaging 10 to 13 centimeters in length, that delicately hangs from trailing vines. There are multiple varieties of Akabi fruit varying in size and appearance, but the skin is generally thick, spongy, and semi-firm with a soft give when squeezed. Depending on the variety, the fruit may also ripen from green to violet, gray, or purple-gray when mature. It is important to note that wild cultivars will split open when ripe, revealing their flesh, while cultivated varieties will remain unopened when mature. Underneath the skin, there is a translucent, gelatinous center that has many small and edible, black-brown seeds suspended throughout the flesh. Purple acabe has a soft and crunchy consistency with a mild, sweet, and subtly bitter flavor. When consumed, the flesh melts into a semi-sweet liquid with notes of pear, coconut, and melon, while the seeds provide a mildly bitter taste and added texture. Buddha's hand the tree is small and shrubby with an open habit. It is very frost-sensitive. Citron leaves are distinctive in form, being oblong and somewhat rumpled, with serrate margins. The flowers and new leaves are heavily tinged with purple. The very small immature fruits may also be flushed with purple, so that they appear almost brown. The 6 to 12 inch fruits split longitudinally at the end opposite the stem, as the carpels separate into segments that look somewhat like human fingers. The rind is yellow and highly fragrant at maturity, with a characteristic aroma of violets or osmanthus, largely derived from a compound called beta ionone. The interior of the fruit is solid albedo, the white part of the skin, with no juicy pulp or seeds. Buddha's hand citron fruits usually mature in late fall to early winter and hold moderately well on the tree, but not as well as other citron varieties. In China the Buddha's hand citron symbolizes happiness and long life, because its name, Fo Shou, has those meanings when written with other characters. Chinese like to carry the fruit in their hands, place it on tables in their homes, and present it as a sacrificial offering at temple altars. In Japan the, Bushukan, as the Buddha's hand citron is called, is a popular gift at New Year's, for it is believed to bestow good fortune on a household. The Japanese buy the fruit at decorative ornament shops, and place it on top of specially pounded rice cakes, or use it in lieu of flowers in the home's sacred tokonoma alcove. Black Sapote The Black Sapote is native along both coasts of Mexico from Jalisco to Chiapas, Veracruz and Yucatan and in the forested lowlands of Central America, and it is frequently cultivated throughout this range. It was apparently carried by the Spaniards to Amboina before 1692, and to the Philippines long before 1776, and eventually reached Malacca, Mauritius, Hawaii, Brazil, Cuba, Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. In 1919, seeds from Guadalajara, Mexico, were sent to the Bureau of Plant Industry of the United States Department of Agriculture. Cuttings and seeds were received from the Isle of Pines, Cuba, in 1915. Seeds arrived from Hawaii in 1916 and 1917, others from Oaxaca, Mexico, in 1920. Numerous seedlings have been grown in Southern California but all have been killed by low temperatures. The tree does very well in Southern Florida, though it has been grown mainly as a curiosity. Outside of its homeland, the fruit has not achieved any great popularity. In Mexico, the fruits are regularly marketed. The tree is handsome, broad-topped, slow-growing, to 80 feet in height, with furrowed trunk to 30 inches in diameter, and black bark. The flowers, born singly or in groups of 3 to 7 in the leaf axils, are tubular, lobed, white, 1-1.6 cm wide, with persistent green calyx. Some have both male and female organs, large calyx lobes and are faintly fragrant, others are solely male and have a pronounced gardenia-like scent and a few black specks in the throat of the corolla. The fruit is bright green and shiny at first. On ripening, the smooth, thin skin becomes olive green and then rather muddy green. Within is a mass of glossy, brown to very dark brown, almost black, somewhat jelly-like pulp, soft, sweet and mild in flavor. In the center, there may be 1 to 10 flat, smooth, brown seeds, but the fruits are often seedless. Salak the, snake fruit, as salak is also called, owes that nickname to its striking exterior. It sort of looks like the skin of a snake. Salak skin is reddish brown, with overlapping scales. The skin may look rough and tough, but salak are surprisingly easy to peel. The skin hides flesh that varies in color from yellow-white to pink. The bite of the salak is not unlike a crunchy apple. The juicy fruit contains sweet and sour flesh. 
The fruits are the size of a fig, with pointed ends. Jabotacaba The Jabotacaba fruit tree bears its fruit along old growth branches and trunks rather than along new growth as in most other fruit trees. The 1 to 4 inch long leaves of the Jabotacaba begin as salmon colored when young and, upon maturity, deepen into a dark green. The young foliage and branchlets are lightly haired. Its flowers are a subtle white, resulting in dark, cherry like fruit that can be eaten right off the tree or made into preserves or wine. Fruit may be born either singly or in dense clusters and is initially green, becoming dark purple to almost black when ripe and approximately 1 inch in diameter. The edible berry is composed of a whitish, jelly like pulp containing 1 to 4 flat, oval seeds. The fruit matures rapidly, usually within 20 to 25 days from flowering. The berry has been described as being much like a muscadine grape, except the seed similarity and tastes both slightly acidic and faintly spicy. A popular fruit bearer in its native Brazil, Jabotacaba's name is derived from the 2P term, jabotime, which means, like turtle fat, in reference to its fruit pulp. In Brazil the tree thrives from sea level to about 3,000 feet in altitude. Physalis Physalis came from Colombia. Central and South America offer the optimal climate for growth. The warmer it is, the better the fruit grows. And they certainly know how to grow. The Physalis only takes eight months to grow from a seed into a mature plant. And, what's exceptional is that growers can harvest the berries all year round for a maximum of two years. As the plant grows, the beautiful papery husk develops around the berries. The husk acts as a natural protection and gives the berry a longer shelf life. The husks are dried in the packing stations using air circulation. The physalis is not much larger than 1 to 2 centimeters. But all the best things come in small packages, including taste. The flavor of this small round berry might remind you of pineapple, with a hint of acidity. The fruits are ripe when they color orange-yellow. The seeds inside are edible. The distinctive feature of the physalis is its appearance. The berry is wrapped in a translucent, papery husk. With its striking color and appealing size, the physalis is an ideal garnish. It's an easy fruit to thread onto a cocktail stick. And a real eye-catcher in a bowl of assorted fruit. But why not try an adventurous combination? Focaccia and Physalis might seem an unusual match, until you taste it. Thank you for watching.